Okay, son. Listen, it will be snowing out there. Please take care of yourself. Today, the world around us changes in just the blink of an eye. We can zip zap from Chandni Chowk to the Great Wall of China, from MG Road to Amsterdam. We can visit a grocery shop in London sitting in our house. We can even access the bank or the post office sitting in the washroom. Gentlemen, these aren't the way they used to be. Remember those times when we had to stand in long queues for hours for just a single document? And today, we can send the same document to any corner of the world with just a click. Haven't you heard about Digital Locker? Yes, the one that allows you to digitally store every important document. Agreed that in today's world, everything is online. Business, restaurants, travel services, etc. But what about signatures? The computers can't do that for us, can they? So, what are your options then? You take a photocopy of the document, sign it, place it inside a cover, which you then stamp and post. Now that document travels on a bus, train or a plane. A simple task like this takes days to accomplish. But there is a solution that not only saves time, but also fuel and money. This is what we call Digital India. So now there is no need to stand in a line for just a sign. The government of India has now introduced Electronic Signature, E-Sign, Digital Signature for the Digital World. An initiative launched under the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's ambitious program, Digital India, through which any citizen shall be able to digitally sign their important e-documents through Aadhaar card in combination with mobile or biometrics. The process of e-sign is as simple as creating an email account. The facility of e-sign has been introduced and is being provided on the country's online document sharing platform, Digital Locker. Which means, along with e-sign, it is also possible to self-attest your e-documents on Digital Locker. Under this service, once you click on e-sign, you will be asked to input your Aadhaar card number after which you will receive a one-time password on your Aadhaar-linked mobile number. Once inserted, the OTP will successfully verify the e-document and it will be digitally signed. What's worth noting is that if you have a biometric fingerprint device, then you will be able to carry out this whole process without an Aadhaar-linked mobile. Just imagine how much of time can be saved by this small process. It can boost electronic transactions pertaining to e-governance and e-commerce. Digital signature will qualify for legal validity under the IT Act. E-Sign will further simplify the process of digital signature for e-governance applications and e-procurement systems like MCA21, DGFT, DGSND, RBI and Railway. Also, in order to ensure the privacy of the applicants, biometrics and digital signatures will not be stored under this service. So, many other organizations can opt for this service, which is already functional with the digital locker. The facility of e-sign can also be provided in banks, financial institutions, passport issuance and reissuance, return filing, PAN issuance, telephone connection, insurance and many more areas where signatures are imperative. That is how we can truly improve the efficiency of government services in the true sense. For further information on e-sign, log on to www.cca.gov.in slash e-sign. When so much work gets done in seconds, just imagine how fast India will grow. The initiative that makes life simpler is what Digital India is all about. Digital sign means digital business, digital transactions and a digital life. E-Sign – Digital Signature for the Digital World